Good evening, everyone. Tonight's big story, parents on high alert after a man tries to kidnap an 11 year old girl walking to school. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kariva Devine. And I'm Mike Gonzalez in for Mark Curtis. The girl is safe tonight, all thanks to a good Samaritan as cops continue to hunt for the suspect. Team 12's Nicole Zymek joining us live from North Phoenix tonight with these scary details and what parents need to know to keep their kids safe. Nicole. Yeah, Mike, and it would have happened in this construction zone area. We did speak to the girl and her parents off camera. They tell us their daughter was on her way to Village Meadows Elementary when a man came up behind her, grabbed her and covered her face. Then a second man came out of nowhere and saved her. Parents on Morningside Drive shaken. It's terrifying. I'm very grateful that we have someone that can take her every day. Rochelle's six-year-old daughter, Chloe, goes to the same school. We got the letter in her in her backpack today. Village Meadows Elementary sending this letter to parents, informing them of the suspect who's still on the loose and a heightened police presence. They were actively out here at least one or two times. The attack happening just feet from Don George's home. We actually did not witness it for some reason. Evidently, it happened in the time that I must have gone inside. Phoenix police saying the man grabbed the 11 year old from behind near this construction site last Wednesday morning. Investigators say a good Samaritan swoops in, knocking the man to the ground, pointing a gun at him, telling him to leave. The suspect running away. No one has seen him or the good Samaritan since. But I'd like to know the name of the fellow, too. The one that saved them. Leaving neighbors to wonder who it could be. I'm thinking it must have been a homeless person. But the gravity of the situation not lost on six-year-old Chloe. If my grandma didn't take me to school every day in her car, if my neighbor haven't had tackled him down, he could have stole me and the girl if we were friends and we were walking together. And police describe that suspect as a black male with a very dark complexion, green eyes, and a ring, stud style ring in his left nostril. If you know anything, call either Phoenix Police or Silent Witness. For now, we're live in Phoenix. Nicole Zymek, 12 News at 10. All right, Nicole, thank you.